<laughs> hey everybody, it's Premier Gal here, and I am here with my grandma, Marion Jimby Brannon. And today I'm going to be showing you how to create or how to record an audiobook because my grandma just record not recorded, but wrote her memoirs and we are going to do an audiobook version of it. So Grandma, do you want to introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about your book? Okay. Uh, I'm Marion Jimby Brannan, and I was born in Canada, came to America, met a wonderful man who became my husband, and raised a family, and uh, eventually started writing a creative writing class and telling about some of the things I did as a child and thought, hey, this would make a good memoir. Yeah, that's great. And you were also for your career too, you were a handwriting analyst. That's right, that's right. I wrote, a book, I wrote a book on that about 20 remarkable women, telling them about their handwriting and their lives. That's great, it's also available for purchase on Amazon, it right? It is. Yeah, so the way that this is going to work is, so the book here is available on amazon.com and there's a website called acx.com, which is I believe Audiobook Creations Exchange that's the acronym, and we're going to go to that website and search for her book because it's linked with Amazon, and then it gives you the option to upload your audio files that you've recorded, so we're going to record that together using an SL600 condenser microphone, which can be used for voiceover, it's a great microphone, and I'm going to record it directly into Premiere Pro on my laptop, and I'm just going to make sure that we have Grandma introduce you know, what the book title is, the author's name, who it's narrated by, and then we get a little bit of room tone because you want to have some, about 10 seconds of room tone, which is just silence. So that way, if there's ever any gaps in, you can use that room tone to fill in any gaps while we're recording. And, you know, just make sure that your audio levels aren't too high. You want the audio to sound nice and um, consistent throughout, so at about like between minus six decibels and minus 12 decibels. This is Chinese to grandma here, but <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> but I'm just going to give you guys a little technical overview here because it's it's useful if you want to be able to record um, for your own audiobooks mm -hmm. in the future. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started on the, the recording. Okay, yeah. So here we have our setup here. You can see that. We now have the SL600 microphone here with a pop filter, and this is what Grandma's going to be actually speaking into to record her audiobook. And here I have my MacBook Pro, and what I'm going to do is set up the audio mixer to record her voice, because this is a USB condenser microphone, so there's a wire coming out from the microphone that's connected directly into my laptop, okay? And so this is going to pick up the audio signal. So right now I'm going to make sure that her audio levels are good, so that way we can just go ahead and get started on recording the audiobook, okay? So let me just jump in front here. You need to have headphones too, of course, so you can hear what's going on. And so, so I'm here inside of Premiere Pro and if you go up to Window and go to Audio Track Mixer, you're going to create a new sequence. And you can call it anything that you want. Leave it as Sequence 1. And then once you have Sequence 1 open up, you're going to then, and you can see that there's three different audio tracks. You can do the first one here. And hit R for Enable Track Recording. You can see that the USB microphone actually becomes enabled. And then we're going to hit the red button for record, and then the play button. And then I can have my grandma then start talking into the mic so I can get a reading of her levels. Okay, can I start talking now? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was just going to say one of the most favorite times I remember as a child is that we always had a piano in the house. And my piano teacher would arrive on her bicycle with a leather wrap on the back with my music book in it. And after my lesson was over, my Scottish grandma would come in gingerly holding her purse to pay the 50 cents for my lesson. Um, when that was done, then grandma would do lots of other fun. I have many, many, many fond memories of grandma. She, um, my mother would can raspberries and we'd, when we'd have them for dessert, 
Grandma had very loose-fitting false teeth. And the seeds would get caught in her false teeth. She'd take them out, wipe them off on her apron, and plop them back in her mouth again, which was so amusing for all of us. And the other thing she did was that she had a lovely little ivory clock that I admired, and I loved it. And so it stopped working, she gave it to me. And I went out and took it out in the backyard and poured some gasoline through the works, as I'd seen my mother do with her sewing machine, and put it together again, and it worked. She took it back, but she did pay for my piano lessons. <laughs> That's sounding good. You can even go a little bit closer oh. when you talk. If you're comfortable. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. But that sounded great. So now, if you hit stop, you can see that there's now an audio waveform in the sequence. So if I play it back, I can listen to see how it sounds. It's great. So just one thing that I want to do right now is record just a little bit of room tone just to get the atmosphere and then we will start recording. So I'm just going to do about 20 seconds of room tone. And then what do we do? And then we're going to actually start doing the book. Exactly what I said. Yeah, exactly yeah. Oh, yeah. what you did. Uh, okay. Um, just a little bit closer to the microphone. Okay. <clears throat> My mother and father began life with a horse, buggy, and a cow and not much else. Dad had the only hardware store in Cabri. In fact, his was the only store besides the grocery store. I loved music, so did Uncle Frank. Their son Stanley had a beautiful baritone voice. He sang on the BBC radio. It was a grand occasion when Stan would visit and sing with Aunt Winnie accompanying him on the piano. Washing down the steps every Saturday made it possible for me to earn a nabob tea coupon, which was admittance to the Saturday matinee at the Strand Theater. Whoopee! All right, Grandma, so we just finished recording your audiobook. And what advice would you have for people that are recording an audiobook for the first time? I would say to read it out loud before you begin. Speak slowly. It's like telling a story one sentence at a time and have a wonderful audio expert <laughs> named Kelsey Brannon doing it for you. <laughs> and reserve at least a half a day. Um, yes. For, yes. We had like almost 30 pages to do, but it, it took a long time. Yeah. You know, it yeah. Took, took a long time and just be patient. And then what we did was we actually set markers in my software that I was using, Premiere Pro, every time we stopped with the page numbers and um, just, you know, redo it. If yeah. You mess up, yeah. If you stumble, have fun. <laughs> and yeah, it's a good bonding time, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, great. All, All right. right. Well, I hope that you guys learned something valuable from our little tutorial here. And um, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye. <laughs> <laughs>